FY23 has been a very strong quarter for the bioeconomy. At a revenue level, we have for the first time crossed 3,000 crores, more specifically 3,020 crores, which actually signals a growth of 36% year on year. Core EBITDA has been the highest ever at 1,069 crores, which is a 49% growth year on year with a very, very healthy and strong EBITDA margin, a core EBITDA margin of 36%. Post R&D and other expenses, our EBITDA has also grown 35% to 723 crores and we have sustained EBITDA margins at 24%. Overall, I think our business is on a very strong footing and our business health is extremely strong. What is important for me to really mention is that this growth has come from our recent acquisition of the biosimilars business from Biatris. This transaction was completed on the 29th of November, uh, 2022, and we were able to actually capture one month's revenues and profits in, this, in these numbers. And that is why you are seeing such a strong um, you know, burst of growth in Q3. Growth will be even stronger in Q4 as we recognize the full financial impact of the Viatris acquisition. And we expect to exit uh, the uh, year in terms of the biologics business at a billion dollar trajectory, uh, which means that the current 1500 crores plus of business revenues that have been reflected in Q3 will increase to a little over 2000 crores in Q4, signaling the billion dollar exit track, uh, trajectory. This Billion dollar growth trajectory for biologics really reflects the base business that we have today. The additions in FY24 to biologics will come from Adelimumab, which we expect to launch in FY24, in, uh, specifically on 31st July, FY in uh, calendar year 23. We expect Aspart and Bevacizumab approvals in calendar year 23, which will then further add to our overall biologics business. And then we also expect to see some increased market share of uh, Glargy, of uh, uh, Trastuzumab, of, and of Pegtail Trastin. This, in addition to the growth that we expect of seven products in Europe, which are all approved and uh, many of which will be launched, will also then uh, generate growth momentum for the biologics business. So the biologics business is poised for a very, very strong growth uh, trajectory as we move into the future. The genetics business also is poised for high mid-teens growth as we look at our differentiated portfolio of both immunosuppressant APIs and our generic portfolio, where we are adding more uh, differentiated products. Of course, the two most important differentiated uh, products in the coming years will be glatiramyl acetate and uh, liraglutide, both of which have got uh, a very promising uh, growth opportunity for Biocom. Um, research services have been delivering very robust growth, as you know. 23% year-on-year growth at a revenue line. And, uh, you know, the generics business has also generated an 18% year-on-year growth at a revenue basis. Uh, at a profit before tax basis, uh, at a consolidated level, we have uh, delivered 246 crores, but this has then been impacted by interest and amortization costs related to the Viatris transaction. And uh, PAT has actually declined uh, to uh, uh, 130 crores. 
And if, if one was to then look at the impact of the transaction in terms of all the costs that have been incurred in, in, in transacting this particular uh, deal, uh, we are then accruing a loss of 46 crores at a deep level. So that, in a nutshell, is the financial performance of the company. But I would like to basically end by saying we are all, you know, every part of our business in the bio, in the Biocon Group is poised for robust growth, for sustainable growth, and I think we have to really make sure that we work towards leveraging this differentiated growth across all our businesses, whether it be genetics whether it be biologics and whether it be research services. Each one of these businesses have some unique opportunities of growth, which we must focus on and deliver to make ourselves even more di differentiated and even more successful. I think the Viatris business, of course, has been, uh, the, uh, the acquisition has been the most uh, important event of this quarter. And I think the Viatris uh, business acquisition is going to allow us to become a global leader in biologics and biosimilars. So with that, I'd like to end by saying, let's you know, make sure that we really get over this current challenge that we have in terms of US FDA inspections. We should get to a, an aim of being a 0483 company. Let's upgrade our uh, um, you know, various quality practices, quality systems. And I know that uh, there's a lot of digital effort in making sure that we are, uh, you know, coming up to the mark in terms of global best practices. I think we should future-proof ourselves by trying to be ahead of the curve. Let's adopt some of the most advanced practices and systems so that we never have to face uh, any challenges of obtaining CRLs in the future. Thank you very much.